Hi there. Now there's another way that we can find the speed of the ball as it reaches the ground. And that way is to consider the motion from A to C in one go. So if we do that, we'll just mark in here that we're considering the motion from A to C. We set up a SUVAT based equation again, S, U, V, A and T. But since we're starting from A and it's projected upwards, we'll have upwards as the positive sense. So when it comes to the displacement S, it starts from here, goes up a distance H, that is 22.5, comes back down here, so the displacement now is zero, but when it comes down to here, the displacement is now minus 1.5. OK, minus 1.5. U is the initial velocity, which was upwards in the positive sense, and that would be 21 metres per second. V we're trying to find. OK, so I'll put a question mark there. As for A, we take A as minus 9.8 because it's acting downwards throughout the motion. I'm often asked, why do we keep this as minus 9.8. Surely it would be positive when it's coming downwards. But throughout the motion, OK, it's going to be negative 9.8. Let the mathematics do the work over this bit. We're not interested in the time, so we can just leave that. So what equation would we use to connect these? Well, it's got to be v squared equals u squared plus 2as. OK, now with this version, we've got v squared then equals u squared. u is 21, so that's 21 squared plus 2 times a, a being minus 9.8 and s being minus 1.5. Now if you work this out, v squared comes to 470.4, same as what we had in the previous part. But this is the interesting bit. When it comes to taking the square root, OK, to get v, we do the square root of 470.4, but normally it will be plus or minus. But for this question, we've got to take the minus option because for the v, it's going downwards in the opposite sense to what we've got here. So we take the minus option. So when we square root this, we get minus 21.688 and so on. But as for the speed, therefore the speed, well, we take the magnitude, the positive value of this, the speed will equal 21. 0.7 meters per second if we give it to three significant figures or one decimal place, one dp for short.